Hi guys, this is Junior. Uh, in this tutorial, we will create a functional traffic light with cars passing by. And a final, a final project is going to look something like this. Uh, basically, as long as the uh, lights are either yellow or green, you're going to see the cars passing by. And as soon as it becomes red, the cars are not going to disappear. And you can actually change, you can actually click on this light. So let's wait for the cars to start passing by. If we change that to red, now the cars disappear. and the, traffic light is going to be running in a continuous loop so it automatically automatically will be changing colors okay so first let's put this to the side to start a new project we're going to do mpx create react app uh, we rename it I, re, I will name it react traffic light Again, for this you need to have installed Node.js, and then you can run this command, and uh, that will create a new um, a new folder named React Traffic Light on um, whatever location you happen to be running your terminal from. Okay, after you run that, I already did that. Uh, you're gonna open VS Code, and you're gonna open that folder which I already have it open. Again, this is just a brand new brand new react application and in order to see our project on the browser we need to do uh, if you're using npm you're gonna do npm run star or in my case i'm going to use yarn because i'm using yarn star that will open up my browser window <coughs> yep. let's try that again Yarn star that's gonna open up my browser window, and we're gonna have just um, the default starting project that create create React app, app give you. Oops, put like that. I'm gonna move this to the side over here. Perfect. I'm gonna have open my uh, dev tools. You want to have the React developer tool installed, so you can go ahead and do that. All right. Now here we're gonna do some cleanup. We don't need um, all of this. I'm just gonna return an empty div, and uh, we can remove these two imports. We don't, we are not gonna use it, and let's delete our app CSS file, and let's actually delete our logo SVG file. Now we need to create some files, some uh, folders, and files to create our components. So let's start doing that right now. So in our source, we're gonna create a new folder. <coughs> we're gonna name it components. And inside components, we are gonna create a new another new folder. And we'll name it street interception. And inside street intersection, I will create another folder called traffic light. Now we need to create some files inside street intersection. I'm gonna do right click new file. I will I will name it street intersection. Okay. Um, street intersection. GS. Forgot to add the extension. Extension. <coughs> now in traffic light, let's create a new file. In the image traffic light, oops, traffic light GS, and we will create another file called lights GS. Plug in lights here. Okay, so we have our app GS street intersection traffic light and lights. Perfect. Now let's try coding our component. I'll start from light. Um, we always start importing React. From React, the const lights. We're gonna receive some properties. We'll name it props, and here we're gonna return uh, just an um, empty object for right now. Like that and we're gonna export light, export default lights. I'm gonna set that up. Let's go back to our traffic light, and we are gonna import. Our lights before it's for react. 
and then we do import lights from lights. We're gonna create a component called traffic light. Okay, we're gonna create some properties. I'll, I'll return. Let's it like this. Let's call it fragment. And here I will return our lights component that we just for up top over here. And now we go to our stream intersection and let's import our traffic light. And again, we start with React always. Now we're gonna import a traffic light from traffic light, traffic light, okay. And we'll create a component called street inter sub and uh, we don't need I don't think we need a pro right now okay so we're gonna return div and inside of div we're gonna use a traffic like um, I should name this I should name this traffic like okay now we're gonna export let me see oh we need to export a traffic like so we're gonna get an arrow. Export default. Traffic light. And now we can export our street interception. Export default. Export default and street intersection. And now we can use that in the app.js. So let's import street intersection. Interception from components, string interception, string intersection. Now we can use that. String intersection, let's see what happened. Perfect. So now if you go to your components tab in your depth tools, you're going to see up here, up, string intersection, traffic light, I like. So we ensure that we are communicating between all these different components. Now, if you go back to our string intersection, we're gonna use uh, uh, hooks that React give us. We're gonna use use a state. Let's import, import it first, and with that, we're gonna use uh, to track what is the light that is currently on. So we're gonna use it like this. Use a state, and this is gonna be the initial value what we put right here. So we want a traffic light to always start in yellow, the yellow light on, and use a state is gonna be, is gonna give you a variable. Which I'll, I'll name it activated light. Uh, it's gonna give a function to set that variable that we just created. Uh, we'll name it. It's a convention to call a set and you name it the variable. Okay. Need some space over here. Now we need to send this activated light and set activated light down to traffic light and eventually to lights. So let's do that right now. So activate a light equal activate a light and set activate a light equal set activate a light save it. Now we go back to our traffic light. We're gonna do basically the same. We're receiving activate a light and set activate a light on the two properties name activate a light and set activate a light, and we're receiving that in uh, under our props. So if you click on traffic light, you can see the properties, activated light and set activated light. Now we're gonna send it from traffic light to lights. Let's do that. So we do activated light equals, now it's on the props that activated light and this one set, got a typo. Equals set. Set. Remember props. Set activated light. Okay. Now let's let's double check that it's working. We go to our lights component. We can actually see that activated light and set activated light. Okay. Now we are gonna work. We are gonna work here. Uh, first of all, we're gonna create some styles. We're gonna create an object called styles. 
we're just gonna copy and paste and we'll go over what it does so this is a style that we're gonna use to conditional format our individual lines so here we got a property called slide it's gonna create those round circles and this one is gonna be for a right one for a red light when it's on and when it's off same with that for a yellow and green one now let's for use to use that we need to do something here so we're gonna start I wanna start on with creating a, an array and this array we're gonna give a value of red yellow and green and we're gonna map over it basically we're gonna go through every element and we're gonna return a brand new array uh, we're going to return a brand new array of div element which, which each one will represent each each light so maps give us uh, the value which is going to name color and the index the position of the array of that element i'll call it ent edx and we're going to return the div we're going to return a div and um, we're gonna give it a property called key. We're gonna set it equal to the index. And uh, we are also gonna give it a property style. We're gonna we are gonna render um, conditionally. So to do that, we're gonna call a props activated light. We're gonna check what what is our activated light. And if if this it is equal to color. If activated light is equal to color, which color represents each individual component in an array, meaning that the light basically is on. If that is a true statement, we're going to return an object right here. If that is a false, false statement, we're going to return another object. On this object, we're going to take out both of them our style, light. Both of them, we're going to do the same. You can actually start seeing stuff. Okay, so you can see that in the case we are just um, um, returning our light here, which basically doesn't set in the background color, the size, and make it in a circle. But we actually want to combine that with the light that is currently off on in this case. Styles that um, well, we're gonna do. We're gonna get a, a value now, and we're gonna use our our color, and this guy is gonna be when it's on. Okay, so you can see that the light is uh, that is on. You remember, if we start with we said that the starting light is gonna be yellow, but that's is this color on is being translated to yellow on, which is gonna match it up with yellow on over here. And now let's do the same styles mm, color. I gotta use the dollar sign color off. Oh. See what happened. Perfect. So now you can see it's actually red and yellow and green. Now to test it out that is property working, we can change the value to red. We press red and we press enter. Now our light that is on is red. Test it out with green. Enter. Now green is on. Perfect. Now we want to make it clickable. Basically, when we click on it, nothing right now is happening, but we want to make it clickable so we can check the value as as we like. For that, we're gonna use a property called set activated light that we're passing through. So we're gonna give it another property to div, and we call it on click. And when we click on that div, we're gonna run this, this function over here. We are, we are receiving, we're gonna use the function that we receive in props set activated line. I'm gonna keep on making a typo. Activated line. And we're gonna send it the color and let's see if that's working. So you can see we can click on it and now we got that active. Uh, we can actually modify as we need. Now let's go back to our traffic line. We're gonna give it some more style to make it look like it actually traffic line. So before we begin, I want to add a new div 
I'm inside that I'm gonna move we're gonna move our lights and uh, we're gonna create a new style a new style object I'm gonna put it down here and that um, style object have another a key called container and that's gonna make it look like actually traffic light so let's use this style stack container object style equal styles that container let's see what that does beautiful that is much better and now and now let's go back to our street intersection uh, let's do the same let's create another uh, style we're gonna create more styles here and uh, let's use that over here it's called style equals style that container and that's that, that's gonna make a background uh, blue and it's gonna center this now our we got a traffic light it's very nice it's centered on the screen we got a blue sky we are able to click on the lights and change the lights at will now we want to make it so every three seconds the lights gonna change to color to colors so it's gonna start in green and yellow and then put to uh, green yellow red green and so on and so on and so on so now we're gonna create in our three interception component we're gonna use another uh, we're gonna use again our use state hook so we're gonna and for this one we're gonna use it to track the direction that our light is going on either um, green yellow red that's gonna be our up direction and the down direction is gonna be red uh, yellow green and green so let's call this direction direction and set direction equal to use state and we want to start in going down now we're gonna bring use effect which is another hook that ria give us those that's gonna allow us to run a function every time we re-render our our string interception component so we can use it over here use effect against use a function but we're gonna pass it a function that is gonna be executed if I can type there you go now here we're gonna create an interval interval is gonna be set equal to set interval and say interval we're gonna pass it a function that is gonna run here we send the the milliseconds so we're gonna say three thousand milliseconds so every three seconds whatever we do over here is gonna happen so you have to test it out let's just do a console log internal interval working working okay. so you should see it over here one through three interval working again So if you notice, it's going a little crazier. You see the number how it changed. Why? Because as I click, I'm re-render this up this element, and I'm I'm keep on creating multiple intervals. So these are multiple intervals that are exist existing and acting on top of each other. So in order to uh, fix the problem, we need to return from our user state hook a new function to clean up that current interval. So let's do that. We're doing that at using return, we pass it a function, and we pass it a clear interval. Remember, clear interval is a built into JavaScript, and we pass it the, for the variable which is has an interval. So now, if we click on clicking, you get interval working, that's good. We should get it again, second time, but we get it just one time, three times, perfect. So we are not getting those intervals on top of each other. Now here we want to remove this console log, we don't need it, and we're going to test, again, we start in yellow and our duration is going down, so we're going to do something like this, if yellow, if uh, activated light equals yellow, and inside there we're going to we're gonna test again if direction equals down, if that's true, see we have a problem, okay, if that's true, then we're going to set at activated light, to uh, green. So let's see what happened. We start in yellow. Three seconds. Now it's green. 
Now, if direction is equals up, let's say we are in yellow and our direction is up, so let's change this for right now to up. So, else if direction equals up, I'm gonna set an activated line to red. So, let's see if that works. Starting yellow, we should go to red. Perfect. Now, we're checking if our activated line is equal yellow and we are acting upon the dab. I'm gonna change this back to down. So, now if activated lights is equal green, let's say we're starting in green. Um, here we're gonna check L if activated light equals uh, green. First of all, we want to set our direction to up. And then we want to set activated light back to yellow. Let's see if that working. So we're starting we're starting green. We should go to yellow. Perfect. Now L if and for that we're gonna change this to red. So we're starting red. L if activated light equals red. We're gonna set the direction to go down. And we're gonna set activated light back to yellow again. And that should complete our loop. Let's see if it works. If it's working now. Well, I want to set it at. We want. We want to start in yellow. And we're going down. Let's see what happens. We are in yellow. Going to green. So we're going back to yellow. Going to red. And we start it over again. Yellow. And now green again. See. Perfect. Now um, we're going to start working on the cars on the street that is on the bottom. Um, we, I'm just gonna close this out for right now. The traffic light and lights component, and I will op I will leave open AppGS and Street Interception, but we need to create some new components. So inside our components, I wanna do right click on components, new folder, and we create a new folder called Street, and I'll create another folder inside a Street called Street Line. Now inside a tree, inside a tree, I create a new file called Street GS, and inside a tree line, I create a new file called Street Line GS, and another one called Car GS. Okay, so we have App GS, a Street Intersection, a Street, a Street Line, and Cars. Okay, so let's start coding on new components. We're gonna start in car. So in car we import it React from React, we create a component called cars. We will eventually receive some props. Right now we just return an empty object and we exporting a cars function which represents our car component. Now if you go back to our street street line, again we start by creating an important React. We importing our car from uh, from that slash car, we're creating a um, street line components. We will be receiving some props, and for right now, we just return an empty div and we export in a street line. Right now, we are not using a car component, but we usually eventually. Eventually, now if we go to back to a street, basically, we're doing kind of the same. We're importing React from React, we're importing our street line from our string line JS file, we're creating that component street. We will receive props. We are returning just an empty div for right now and we're making the street available by doing export default street. Again, we are not using the street line right now inside our street component, but we will use it eventually. Now we can we can go to street interception and there um, just like we import traffic light, we're gonna import We're gonna import our street component from traffic like uh, no wait I think I put it in the wrong place. Or not. Okay, so I'm getting wrong in well correct, but I put the fo my folders in the wrong location. So to fix it up, 
all you have to do is grab the folder strip and drop it inside in street interception. Just let it go, move, and that should take care of it. So now we have inside component folder called street interception. We got a street intersection.js file, and now we have the folder street here, just like we have it before, but now it's inside street intersection. Now this should work our auto completion slash street street. Now we can start using our street component. We're gonna use it here just below our our traffic light street and to street we're gonna pass it the activated light. I'm gonna pass that down. Okay. Now we're gonna start creating files that represent our cars. So inside our directly in our source folder, src, we're gonna create a new folder. I will name it assets. And inside our assets folders, we create a new file which I I will rename it. I will name it car1.sdg. And I'll do a total of, total of six car six car. So I remember this one car two SVG. New file. Car two SVG. Oops. Car three SVG. Car four SVG. Car five SVG. SVG. And the last one, car six, SVG. Okay. Now, starting our car one, on below the description, description of this video, you're gonna find the Git repository for this project. So you can go there, uh, copy and paste because SVG is a lot of code that is not meant to be here in a in a current tutorial. It's not meant to be copy and paste. Oh, been typing, just meant to be copy and paste. SVG just works by using math instead of actually information for each individual pixel on the screen for the particular image that you want trying to represent and um, the, the benefits of that is that um, our file the actual file is quite small again it's just text and we don't not, we are not gonna lose um, clarity on our picture as we zoom in this is different to actually PNG file for example okay so I'm gonna copy and paste the code for each car A lot of code. Car three. Car four. Five. Six for us. Okay, so I can close that. Out. That's out. So now we got our cars. Now let's go to our strip component and we want to import those files that we just created. So we're going to do import car1 from dot dot going up one step. Now my BS code is kind of having an issue. Okay, now back in the strip component, I should be able to import my car SVG file that we just created. It's inside, I have to keep on going up, add one more level, assets, and there we're gonna get car one SVG. Um, I'm just gonna copy and paste two, three, four, five, six. Now we rename this to car two, car three, car four, car six. Five, I'm sorry. And car six. Okay. Now here we're gonna start using our street light component, and I'll pass it on. Actually, gonna pass street line two times. We're gonna use it twice. Let's start with the first one. Again, street line just represents a street line. Like one's going from left to right, and the other one from right to left. So let's use our street line. Um, 
we're gonna send that a property called direction this is the direction on the street one is gonna go to right and the other one will go to the left and we're gonna pass it a, another property called cars and this one is gonna be uh, have a value of an array of the, the cars that I want to be passing by uh, in this case I want to use the first three cars twice car one again car two again car three again car one two three one two three and for last I'm gonna send the activated line which we right now receiving for our uh, front of props activate a line and we will do this the same again but now our direction is gonna go it's gonna be left lower case left and these cars go, are gonna be our remainder car car four car five and car six so we have four five six four five six perfect um, I'll also give it some style here to our div. Okay, because this is the div that is actually wrapping our street lines. Um, this we create a new font, a new uh, object. Inside of object, we got a value called container, and we give it a width of 100% and overflow hidden. So let's use that style over here. Style equals styles dot container. And now we can go to our street line. Now in a straight line, we're gonna. If you notice, we are receiving an array of cars. So we're gonna go through that array and we're gonna map over it, and we're gonna return an array of car components. So let's do that right now. Okay, so we're gonna do. We're receiving the car the car array under our props. Cars. And we're gonna map over it. Map over it. We're gonna receive the car. We're gonna use the index, and we're gonna return an array of cars or car component. We're gonna send set the key. We're gonna use the index. We we'll use the index. We're gonna send the car. The property called car. Let's keep the, keeping the same name. We're gonna send the direction direction and we're gonna send the activated line which is under our uh, props activated line like that and we also will create another we're gonna give it some more styles so we create a new object called styles in the container we're gonna do the display flex we're gonna set this over here Star equals styles dot car uh, container, and now we can go to our car element. Um, we are gonna conditional our conditional our conditionally render that um, the car. We're gonna test if our props activated line is not equal to red. So if our props activated lies is not equal to red, we don't want to render anything. So if that is true statement, we're gonna do something here. If this is a false statement, then we're gonna return null. But here we're gonna return uh, an image tag. I'm gonna close it out. That should get rid of the error. And here in the image, the source is going to be our props card. There you go. So you see in the card, we have an issue that will fix it out right now. So when it's red, all of this should disappear. There you go. Now we hit, we have to give it alternate, all property, a value. And this is just a string, I'll name it card. What is that use? You see this one that failed to render for whatever reason. They are rendered with that string cars. And now let's fix that problem. 
the Asia that I have in the car 5 I had this extra I faced that by mistake there that I shouldn't go there so that should fix our problem so we got all the cars render, rendering properly now we're gonna create a new um, object of styles in our car components and we put it I'm gonna put it right here and we go over what it actually means so we want to give it this style um, take into account the direction of the street so we're gonna give it style equals now here we're gonna test the following it's our props direction equal to right if that's true we're gonna return the object of styles and if stuff is false we're gonna return okay so we're gonna take out our common style which are look add inside our cars style dash car and that if if the direction is equal to red to right we're gonna get we're gonna combine styles dot car with styles dot car left to right styles dot car left to right and if it's not the case we're gonna return style dot car right to left okay it's not changing anything we fix it up so let's go over these styles over here so the one inside car this is just basically the, the height the margin the position and now here this is where it get interesting we set in a property called a CSS property called animation direction so this is the animation how long we want the animation to last we want it to last nine seconds animation in interaction count basically how how many times we want it to repeat we want it to repeat easily uh, infinite and animation timing function is it in is it in meaning like the animation will start slow and it's gonna increase increase the speed as time goes on which is kind of like what happened with the car when the car is stopped and it start running it starts slower and time go, goes on it gets some speed and now here this is the animation name so we have to create an animation which we don't have right now created but we will create an animation called car left to right which is gonna make our animation possible on the screen and we we'll create another animation called car right to left now let me zoom, in, zoom out a little bit here to make it easy to see and let's do let's create those this animation and this animation our we creating are our index CSS you should have you should have a body and a code selectors you can leave those over there down here let's create our first animation so we we'll first create our animation of car left to right we do it like that we start with a key keyframe keyframes keyword and this is the name of our animation and we should see it right now going on let's see there you go so we see our cars are moving now let's go over how this let's go over this animation so when the animation start when it's a zero percent of progress we put in our cars left um, menu 300 percent basically our cars are gonna be here where my, my, my mouse is around here and they're gonna start moving to the end of the animation which is to the left this is gonna be a calculation that gonna move all those cards that may start over here to the other side of the screen um, for the last animation for the line that is below this one over here basically kind of the same but we kind of flip it so we start from the, our car is gonna be outside of our viewport or the screen to the right and they're gonna move to the left so let's see perfect perfect now as soon as we click red nothing should be on the screen so let's wait for our next set of cars to come by okay so we got this car coming by this car coming up press red and there disappear perfect so that's it now you have a functional traffic light with cars passing by and then you can change as you need it as you want 
So thank you so much. Please like and subscribe to this video. It will help me tremendously. And don't forget you can find the code for this project uh, below in the description. I hope you can find it useful and you learn something new. Thank you very much.